So what, what is one piece of advice you would give to someone in that administration now, whether it's a secretary of education or whether it's um, Joe Biden's wife, our first lady, what would you give them as, as an advice to say something they can do, one thing they can do to help this field of education or the educational system overall? That's a great question. One thing. I think equity is a big thing and it spans the entire nation, right? You have the racial divides, you have gender divides, you have rural and urban divides, you have students who have disabilities and students who don't, you know, like there's so much, there's already a lot of great things that are happening in education in some of the best schools, right? Mm -hmm. Where if you look at a model of the best school, and you see like, you know, students are getting their needs met all across the board. You know, they're doing the best they can to like, you know, level the playing field and make sure that that equitable instruction is being provided. I would say, look at those schools. Mm -hmm. What are they doing successfully? And help make every school a model of that. Mm -hmm. So whatever a school, you know, because sometimes it's funding, sometimes it's resources, sometimes it's bringing in more, more materials. I think we're at a point where we have so much great information out there. And like we know it because amazing schools are doing this and it's mm. inspiring to see, but it's not happening across the board, right? There's schools where I've taught where that's not the case. I've taught at other schools where it is this case where it's amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could have just asked for this and get it. <laughs> like, exactly. what is this? Mm. And then other schools where it's the opposite. So I would say like, think about how can we make sure that equity is being taken into consideration so that all students are truly getting what they need. So I would say like model schools after the most successful schools, like get more of that. There shouldn't be any bad schools. Parents shouldn't have to go to a different district to get their kid to be in a good school. You know, like every school should just be excellent. It should be a great school. It's not unattainable. Uh, there are other places around the world where you have good schools everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think we can do it here. I really do. So I would say just like go hard on that. I love that. I love that. Um, and one thing that really stood out is that we don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? Yes, There's yes. great things being done all across the country, all across the world. We just have to yes. find ways to be more supportive and more collaborative, right? Yes, um, yes. I think it may not be the same for every neighborhood or every school community, right? Mm -hmm. We can find communities that, are, that serve a similar population and that are successful, as you said, and yes. find out what really works with that school and what are they doing effectively, and then try to transfer that to other schools. I think we can have this community where everyone thrives and everyone improves and gets better because we're collaborating more. So I love that. I love that suggestion. I love that you've also brought out, like it doesn't have to be like a copy paste job, right? Because it is like a community is unique, is going to have a unique set of kids, teachers needs and the environment is different. So you, you want to talk to those communities and get their input also, right? So it's mm -hmm. not just like, you know, one mold for everybody, but it's really no. just taking what, what works well and making it work well in that community. So I mm -hmm. think that's a great point as well. 